what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm about scream 6 primarily in this video today we'll be talking about this great news that came out about the box office forecast related to the project mostly but before i get to that i want to dive into some recent comments that came from radio silence also comments that came from melissa barrera in this new interview that happened with den of geek keep in mind you have the ign fan event that's going to go on or fan fest is going to go on tomorrow and saturday with some other tidbits we're going to get about the movie there as well but just to kick it off with the way that uh, Matt Benelli Open decided to describe the pacing of the movie, he went on to say that there's no off ramp. It gets you on and then you and then you go and then the movie ends. That's something we just love. Movies that don't give you a chance to take a breath. So this isn't something that we haven't heard before because we've heard comments like this in the past. Um, I'm very curious to see how this impacts certain events being felt more than others. I do think time to breathe is necessary for your audience to care, but I'm certain those pockets of breath will be sprinkled throughout. Gillette went on to say or talk about how this movie is more like a sister story going into the Carpenter sisters and their their uh, roles in this movie. He said it's really a sister story. Our favorite scenes in this movie are the two of them talking to each other. Honestly, there's a level of depth and richness in the relationship that they are building on screen we keep saying when we're watching we just want to be the carpenter sisters melissa barrera expands on the carpenter's relationship in some other comments by saying that there's a little bit of friction between the sisters she's saying because tara was used to being independent and not having to deal with anyone and sam's like i'm back and i'm never going to leave you alone now this interview had other tidbits that you can catch in the description through the link that i share but the stuff about the carpenters lines up with some previous speculations thought that would occur in scream six i also appreciate Bar barrera's comments that kind of lend to some connective tissue that's going on here to the ending of screen five at the end of screen five sam literally makes it clear that she's going to stick by tara's side because we know she abandoned her after she found out everything about who she was she got her hands on every drug she could find yada 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 went through a bad girl phase and then she was gone but now in six, we're seeing some of the backlash that comes from this decision because she's probably being too overprotective. And Tara, of course, doesn't like that. You're probably coming on a little bit too strong to someone who knows you're just trying to make up for lost time. And she doesn't like that. So I cannot wait to see how this comes off on screen for those two. And of course, the relationship is going to have its ups and downs and they'll ultimately have it repaired by the end of the movie. But I really do like that there's that connective tissue that's existing still from screen five when it comes to this relationship because we know that they haven't had the best relationship since sam left the house so i can't wait to see melissa and uh jenna kick it out of the park or knock it out of the park rather with their chemistry like they did in screen five so lastly most importantly we need to talk about the box office for scream six now the box office for scream six is projected to do even more now according to deadline it's it's higher now according to deadline this is just for the opening weekend i want to add that it says exclusively paramount and spyglass media scream six hit tracking today with what looks to be a franchise opening record of 37 million stateside now the previous highest opening for a screen movie was scream 3 back in 2000 which debuted to 34.7 million stateside now i've already seen people go on about all oh, the leaks are going to kill this the leaks are going to kill that keep in mind I know that, yes, that could definitely play a factor. However, we're not talking about the whole entire movie being out there. We're also not talking about something that happened months in advance. I would say this didn't happen five months for, before the release. We're three weeks away. And also, at the same time, we haven't even heard the first bit of reactions to the movie. So positive word of mouth can definitely dictate people ignoring those things and going out and still seeing the movie anyway. Because at the end of the day, if this movie is on track to earn 37 million domestically, 37 million domestically, 37 million dollars worth of people are not going to see that clip in three weeks. That's not how that works. Sure, a percentage could take, a, let's say, a 10 percent dip because of the leaks. OK, it's a 10 percent dip. You can easily make that up internationally. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't see that this leak is going to be that big of a detriment to the box office this late in the game. When, again, we're not talking about the whole movie being leaked. We're talking about a snippet of the movie. And it's a snippet that definitely is not going to be seen by $37 million worth of individuals. That's just not going to happen in the span of three weeks. Uh, I also do love how if this happens, 
it's going to be bittersweet in a lot of ways because there are so many nasty individuals who have made it a made it a point to just trash radio silence trash melissa barrera trash anyone involved with this project because they think that they do not stand with nev campbell wouldn't it be so bittersweet for your very first entry in the series to not have Sidney Prescott's presence end up being the highest grossing domestically, the highest grossing opening weekend domestically out of the six movies that we've gotten. And again, it's the first one without her. That would just, to me, be bittersweet because again, regardless if she's here or not, there was no reason to act that way towards anyone involved with this project. There was no need, no need to hate on Melissa. There was no need to send any type of nasty messages to Radio Silence. There was no need for any of that. It was just foolish behavior, and this foolish behavior is not paying out in the long run according to what the tracking is looking like for the box office because this movie looks like it's going to be a hit financially. So, again, I understand there is that snippet out there. And I understand that there's that thought that, okay, this could be detrimental to what they actually bring in domestically during the opening weekend. And it could. However, this is saying it's tracking 37 million worldwide. And I want to remind people, we're not talking about a Marvel movie or anything bigger than what it actually is. We're just talking about horror. Horror, honestly, I love horror. It's my favorite genre. It's not looked at in the same vein as a lot of these other genres and how you have multiple eyes on that on other genres compared to horror i think if this was another genre and it had a snippet leak like this i would then believe yes it could be pretty detrimental but not for this movie and not when it's this close to the release i think 37 million dollars worth of people are not going to be coming across that snippet in three weeks it's not going to happen you won't have to worry about it really being that big of a detriment uh now of course if i'm wrong then i'm just wrong however even if there's a dip due to the snippet leak the movie's still going to be profitable. There's no way this movie will not be profitable. I love how the article also notates Jenna Ortega's growing star power as a clear clear con contribution to why this movie is on track to do what it's about to do in its opening weekend. I concede even exceeding the expectations despite the snippet leaking. I just love how this is all again feeling so bittersweet because this will be your first project without Sidney Prescott. I'm very happy that the character is going to get to be somewhere safe away from all of this drama that I know the character has been working towards. She deserves it. She does not need to be in countless movie sprees with this she's she's lived and been there she's done that she she needs her peace she deserves her peace uh if she can come back for scream 7 that would be tremendous but i cannot wait to see the very first entry without her be the highest grossing domestically during this opening weekend but let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram uh you can mess with me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video